Let's move on to our big exclusive. JP Associates is on the brink of becoming an NPA. And to avert that, ICICI Bank, which has the highest exposure to the company, has proposed an SDR on this account, or basically a strategic debt restructuring. Now, with this move, uncertainties have emerged on the fate of the large cement deal that was struck between Ultratech and JP Associates. Nisha Podar, who broke that story, is now joining in with all the details. Nisha, so quite a lot is clearly at stake here. I mean, how do we expect things to unfold? At least uh, in the beginning, uh, we can be assured uh, of one thing, that is JP Associates is not going to be an NPA on the books of all the large lenders for uh, the last quarter. So April to June quarter uh, has been saved for the banking sector when it comes to the entire uh, 50,000 odd crore rupees of JP Group's exposure uh, to that per to the banking lot. So ICICI Bank has the highest exposure uh, to JP Associates and um, by proposing a strategic debt restructuring, the non-performing asset uh, account uh, or the nomenclature for that particular account has really been averted. So it will have an impact on various banks uh, for the last quarter. This is the biggest implication. The second big one that we have to watch out for is that big merger and acquisition that was uh, done uh, between um, the Ultratech uh, company of the Birla flagship company and uh, which was buying out 21.2 million tons of uh, cement capacity from JP Associates that has really hit a roadblock. Of course Ultratech uh, sources as well as the official uh, spokesperson do suggest that uh, the deal is on track but uh, sources have been telling us that with this move by ICICI Bank to really invoke SDR for JP Associates what lenders are now looking at is a full-blown competitive bid process and have all also received some offers which in terms of valuations could be better than what Ultratech had offered. Remember Ultratech had also looked at renegotiating the terms of the last deal of 15,900 crore rupees which was not agreeable to the banks. So lots of ifs and buts but the banking lot has averted one NPA situation. All right Nisha, thanks very much uh, for